This is a video one in the series for POC training provided by Ladies in Tech. Make sure you subscribe so you keep up right along with us. Hello and thank you for joining me on Ladies in Tech. This video is going to be on how to make run comments, how to actually word the comments, and how to physically put them into the runs. So here we have a bit of logic. Let's go over and describe what's happening here. This will help us with our comments. First we have a stop, which is a normally closed red push button. We have a green, normally open push button, which is our start PB. We have a read switch, normally open, for uh, upper cylinder retracted. We have a read switch for normally open as well, and it is the middle cylinder is retracted. We have an output at this end, it's a two position five way spring return valve, and it's going to extend the lower cylinder. And here to seal on our start push button, the lower cylinder extend. So if I were going to write a wrong comment, I would write something like, when the start button is pressed, and, because we got and situations, and the stop button is not pressed, and the upper cylinder is retracted, and the middle cylinder is retracted, extend the lower cylinder and keep it extended until the stop button is pressed. So that gives an accurate description of what is going on in this rung of logic. So now let's add that in. Play right click right here and you're going to go edit comment. At this time, you can put your run comment in, but I want you to pay attention right here. We want to attach this comment to the file rung, not to the output address. So let's change that now, and let's put it in. So when the start PB is pressed and the upper cylinder and middle cylinder are retracted, we're using past tense because they are there, they are retracted. We're going to extend the lower cylinder. The lower cylinder will remain extended until the stop button is pressed. And we're going to go OK. And you can see we now have the comment where that rung is up here in yellow. And that's it. That completes your tutorial on how to add a rung comment. This comment gives an accurate description of what is going on in that rung. And anybody should be able to come up and take a look and see what's going on by simply reading the comment. All right, well, thank you for joining me. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on other tips from Ladies in Tech. Thank you.